Hello and welcome my Sagittarius friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Sagittarius Zodiac sign in celebration of Halloween. Happy Halloween my Sagittarius friends. This is such a phenomenal time of year. The energies are so bold and vibrant. They're fantastic. This is a really special time and an important time for many people on many different levels. When I was looking at planning out this video, I really looked at what October 31st meant to different spiritualities and cultures. I really wanted to get a video that was going to be meaningful for my friends. So I looked at it and I decided to do a spread on mapping things out. I was going to adopt the more pagan, Wiccan spiritual modality and see Halloween or October 31st as a new year. We don't map out where things are going enough. We hope we dream, we're like, oh, I'd really like this to happen. However, we don't map out what we're going to be looking at over the next couple of months or the next year or however long enough to see really truly where we're headed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to map things out. While I was reflecting and thinking about this reading, I also did some research on where um, or what spreads were available. I couldn't find something I liked, so I created this spread to kind of map out what the next 12 months were going to look like. I've put a link below to this spread, so should you want to try it at home with your tarot cards or oracle cards, you can. This is a group reading, however mapping needs to be um, individual as well. The deck I'm going to be using for this reading, of course I had to use the Halloween Tarot. It's a fantastic deck and the energy that I've been getting from it from these mapping sessions have been fantastic, just phenomenal. I will be ending off the session with an Oracle Blessing from the Enchanted Oracle. Like always, there are links below to both these spectacular decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Sagittarius friends, let's start off. The first part of this reading, I'm going to be um, flipping back and forth between the spread and the cards so that you get an idea of where we are on the spread. Alright, we're going to start with question one. What card represents my Sagittarius friends for the next year or 12 months? That's the Three of Imps or the Three of Wands. This is a journey card, it's a movement card. We're looking at that next step. The Three of Wands is usually a man who step in between two wands, has one wand and is ready to go. He reflects more on the Two of Wands, which is about making that decision. The Three of Wands, you've already made that decision. You know where you need to go. It's now going to be an action time. So the next 12 months is going to be more of an action phase for you. Go on to the second question. What card symbolizes the upcoming year for my Sagittarius friends? It's gonna be a fiery year for you, my Sagittarius friends. The six of imps or fire, that wand aspect again. The six talks about balance and harmony. That wand is that inner fire. Your solar plexus is really going to be, need to be strong over the next 12 months because you're really going to be focusing in on that, that inner willpower and fire drive that you have. The important piece that the Six of Imps really brings up is the need to balance. Because we have so much fire, you can burn yourself out. That balance and rejuvenation and ensuring that you are grounded and that you are really taking care of yourself will be an important part of that six. Let's move on to the third question. What card symbolizes the main challenge that my Sagittarius friends are going to face in the upcoming year or 12 months? And more fire. The nine of imps. The nines talk about all that hard work. And you've accomplished so much in your life. 
the nine here talks and is more of a warning that we're looking at really kind of putting our foot on the ground and, and burying yourself in that passion, your creativity, and that inner will. You're really going to see that your, your will and those beliefs are going to be a, a challenge for you because you're going to have to really reflect on them. If you put your foot and stick your um, sword in there, the, your wand in the, the sand and aren't movable and you really put a fortress around yourself, you're going to miss messages and support that will really help push you forward in a positive manner. All right, I'm not gonna um, flip back and forth anymore because we're going to just go through. The next 12 draws are going to be the months. I'm gonna start with November and work myself around. I don't wanna cause a lot of uh, flickering effect, so we're gonna just start with November. What card symbolizes November and all that will bring my Sagittarius friends? Now we have jumpers. I am. I said 12 draws. Um, there, when we have jumpers, you just kind of start stacking things so that you can have enough space. This is the biggest spread that I've created with 15 intentional cards pulled. Um, it's a 15 plus reading because I, I don't think I've had a, a, a mapping out session where I haven't had at least one or multiple jumpers. So your first jumper was the Ace of Ghosts. November is going to give you that holy grail. The Ace of Ghosts is also the Ace of Cups. That cup gives you that fulfilling, joyful, loving energy that you need. It continues that ability to connect in to the other side. The veil starts to build itself back up after the 31st. It's not like it comes up on November 1st and there you go, it's a wall. It starts to rebuild itself. It'll take some time. You have the ability to connect into it and really get those messages and connection because the more we tap into it now, the easier it will be to tap into it when the veil is at its normal thickness. With it came the Five of Ghosts or the Five of Cups. In November, you're going to have to make sure that you are following the right direction. Like I said, it can really be easy to put our foot in the sand and say, nope, I know I'm right. That fire, that willpower, that passion piece can get in our way. You've got a very passionate next 12 months coming forward the Five of Cups or the Five of Ghosts talks about um, not seeing what's right in front of you. You're not paying attention to the right thing. Pamela Coleman Smith drew the first deck with a fellow in a, or a woman in a cloak looking at three overturned cups and two of them were behind her. November, you're going to have lots of abilities and gifts come through. However, you need to make sure that you're focusing in on the right piece, that right aspect, because it's easy to focus in on what you think you should have rather than what the universe is offering you. Let's move on to December. Or let's throw a whole bunch of cards on the floor. Let's start there. What card symbolizes December for my Sagittarius friends and all that it offers them? And we have more jumpers. Like I said, I've, I don't think I've done a, uh, a mapping out session where I haven't had one or multiple situations of more than one card. The first card that hit the floor was the Page of Wands, the Page of Imps. We're back to that fire. That fire drive is going to be really important for you. Flame and fire will help if you connect in. Um, like candle meditation would be really fantastic for you over the next 12 months, or especially in uh, December, where we're looking at the page starting off this kind of montage of jumpers. Candles and that meditation will really help, especially when you're feeling stuck. With that innocent, fun, playful energy, 
We have the five of imps. The five talks about how people like to put in their two cents and that you're going to have conflicting views. Now some of those views may be internal dialogue as well. We already know that November's going to bring a bit of kind of uncertainty as to what you should be focusing in on and ensuring that you're focusing in on the right piece. The five of imps talks about in December how you, the, those passionate beliefs and views are going to really kind of come up. And some of it might be internal and some of it may be that uh, external uh, people sharing that love people love to share their thoughts and feelings on things that may confront you the page can help out if you don't take things as seriously in December and you enjoy and have some fun in that month you're gonna find it really diffuses that five that playful, innocent, and quizzical energy that the page has is really going to dilute the five. We have the four of pumpkins or the four of pentacles. December brings about an opportunity for you to really have that stability and growth that you need. Connecting into that page will really help you overcome that challenge which will help you with that growth piece. It'll give you more tools and strategies in dealing with that conflict, especially that passion-based conflict, because that can be the, some of the most hurtful stuff because it's connecting in on a, that passion, that fiery element. And the final card that jumped out, the Four of Bats or the Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about that need for rest and rejuvenation. The page will give that to you through play and that kind of inquisical mind, if you will. That playful rejuvenating energy is gonna be really needed in December. And I'm not saying avoid people, but you need to kind of take that step back, take the high road, allow yourself that time to rejuvenate and grow rather than really embracing that passion piece and, and, and fighting with the fire with fire. Let's move on to January. What card represents January and all that it will bring my Sagittarius friends? Okay. We had one jumper. And January is the Eight of Pumpkins or the Eight of Pentacles. That Eight talks about the need to sit down and get to work. January is going to be a work month for you. You're going to find that some of this passion and movement is really going to be um, happening in January. This rest and rejuvenation and that play, that play and excited and quizzical mind is really going to be uh, pushed into the Eight of Pentacles. We really need to kind of embrace that energy to get the Eight of Pentacles up and going and get those skills and abilities not only up to snuff, but also to start getting that your hands dirty and getting the work done. Let's work, let's look at February. What card symbolizes February and all that it will bring my Sagittarius friends? Okay, we have a couple jumpers. The first one is the Six of Bats, or the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about that need to um, continue your journey, and we already have a movement card. However, you're going to have to hold on to some of that emotional buildup. It may feel a little bit awkward and weird, but continuing that movement forward based on the passions and that, that play, that inquisical mind will really help pull you in and through February. I know that everybody thinks that February has to be a lover's month. Actually, I'm almost done the videos and I haven't pulled the lovers in February yet. This is a time for you to get yourself moving. Taking those skills and abilities, that work ethic and pushing it through February. Because when you do, that's when the King of Pentacles or the King of Pumpkins will come up. That abundance piece and the ability to manifest. We're raising our vibration here in December. 
we're working on it or continue to work on it in January. And then in February, as we raise our vibration, manifestation becomes easier because we, our vibration is higher. Let's look at March. What card symbolizes March? And all that it will bring my Sagittarius friends. We have two more jumpers. We're going to run out of cards, I think, on this reading. The first one is the Hierophant, the fifth card in the Major Arcana. And he's that connector piece, that connection to the, the higher source, to God, to that universal energy. We talked about movement. The manifestation is kind of like, ooh, look, perk. But that movement is really towards that connection to that higher self and to the universe. With him came the Ten of Ghosts, that Ten of Cups. It's a family card. That connection into your astral and spiritual family is going to really become stronger in March. That ability to connect in and receive and understand, that's a big piece, understand those messages that your astral family has, that your guides and guardians have for you too. Let's go on to April. What card? symbolizes April and all it will bring my Sagittarius friends. Got a jumper there? And that's strength. The eighth card in the major arcana. And it talks about that ability to do the unimaginable. Using your inner fire and strength these abilities that you're acquiring here, you're going to be able to see that your strength really uh, improves and increases. Now strength, it has a lot of infinity symbols here. However, strength usually has a woman with a lion. She has an infinity symbol above her head. She also has a second infinity symbol between her waist and the lion with a wreath of roses. That is a really important piece, that connection in to the universe and that universal energy is going to really be key as you get into April. You're really going to see that you're going to need that extra oomph as you go forward. Let's go into May. What card symbolizes May and all that will bring my Sagittarius friends? It's the tenth card in the Major Arcana the wheel of fortune you're seeing that shift that movement is really key you're seeing that momentum forward the more you're putting in in April and uh, March the more you're going to get out of May that movement's going to be key we know that movement's important for you let's look at June what card symbolizes June and all that will bring my Sagittarius friends. Okay, we have a couple jumpers. The first one is the Page of Bats. We're back to that playful and quizzical knowledge piece. You're going to find that having that um, playful energy is going to be key in June and it's going to be focused in on learning more. We've kind of got to a, okay, this is where we're at. We're, we're shifting the dial. That next piece is an upward battle where we're going to be learning more information. We have the Eight of Ghosts or the Eight of Cups with the page. That knowledge is going to be all about you. That inner journey is going to be needed. You're going to be able to gain a lot more knowledge. You're, and the more knowledge you're going to be able to gain on this journey, the more fun and play you have with it, the more you're going to retain out of that journey. We'll cruise into July. What card symbolizes July and all that it has for my Sagittarius friends? Got a jumper? And that's the Hermit. The Hermit is the ninth card in the Major Arcana. And can I tell you how much I really enjoy this depiction of the hermit? It just cracks me up. 
June we're starting that inner journey in July the hermit is going to help us out however that page is really going to be important because the more fun you have the more play you get into this the more your hands get dirty the more knowledge you're going to retain and the more shifting you're going to get let's go into August what card symbolizes August and all it will bring my Sagittarius friends reprieve the three of ghosts the three of cups August you're gonna have time to celebrate you're gonna have time to connect in with your friends and family and you're gonna really enjoy that kind of respite you're gonna get out of your head and get into community and into some fun with um, individuals in this plane let's go on to September what card symbolizes September and all that it will bring my Sagittarius friends all right we had one jumper and this is the night of ghosts September we're gonna have a bit of a breather month or sorry August we're gonna have a bit of a breather month September we're getting back at it the night of ghosts or the night of cups talks about that connection in to that universal knowledge again and into that universal energy and connecting into our intuition September brings about that shift to move in and also do a little bit of emotional regulation. Some of this is going to get really choppy for us so our emotions are going to go up and down. That night is going to help bring more stability into some of these emotional waves that you've been having. In October, what card symbolizes October for my Sagittarius friends and all that will bring them? The nine of ghosts. Nines again, all about that accomplishment. You're going to end this cycle off on a high. All the work you've put into the last 12 months will really show and you're really going to have that sense of accomplishment in October. And you're going to see how far you've been able to come. All right, let's add in the final card your shadow self and what it wants to add and that's the ten of bats or the ten of swords I said some of this is going to get a kind of an emotional roller coaster for you the ten of bats talks about taking the knowledge rather than that emotion we're going to attach emotion to some of these ups and downs some of this knowledge that we're going to accrue throughout the 12 months Take the knowledge, not the emotion. The emotion will bag you down and really tie you up in stitches like the um, Eight of Swords. All right, my um, spiritual posse is screaming at me because we have, oh, just a few angel messages in this reading. I will do my best to find all of them. If I miss some, please just put it down in the message box. I'll get to them as I, I they come up. The first one I can see is the six. We've got double sixes. When you're looking at multiple sixes, there needs to be a balance between the physical and the spiritual world. That's going to be really important. That balancing piece can easily be toppled because we are looking at such a passion-driven 12 months. We also have double fours, literally, right beside each other. Those fours, when you're looking at double fours, the angels are telling you that it's really important that you create that foundation and structure. And that's going to be really important. We literally, at the very top here, we're looking at double fours right beside each other. It's going to be really important that you have that structure to jump off of. We also have double threes. When you're looking at double threes, the angel messages is talking about that need to express something that is really close to your heart. Then we have multiple nines. Nines. Nines talk about multiple nines. The angels are saying this is a time to work on your life's purpose. That soul's deeper purpose is really evident here. And that's true. You're really starting to get some movement and connection in. We have multiple fives with a five of ghosts and we have this, the five of imps behind there. 
when you're looking at multiple fives, even though in tarot, fives are a conflictual number, the angels say, look, you're going to have a positive change. This is fantastic. Keep going. We have multiple pages. That's the 11th card in the Minor Arcana. When you're looking at multiple 11s, you're looking at that uh, master number. The angels are telling you it's time to really connect into that deeper intuition. Oh, we have another five down here. We've got three fives, not two. We've got multiple tens. When you're seeing multiple tens, the angels are talking about a time of personal development and spiritual enlightenment. We also have multiple eights. When you're looking at angel messages, that talks about staying true to your passions. And the truer to your passions that you are, the more abundance you're gonna create. I don't see any more. If I'm missing any, please let me know and I can address it below in the um, messages. All right, let's end this off with a, a blessing. What blessing does Halloween have for my Sagittarius friends? And that's Serranos. What a fantastic card. It's so beautiful. And Serranos talks about that need to kind of surrender and enjoy this peace. Even though some of it may seem scary and that you shouldn't, that actually, you know what? Take that step in. Connect into that wild, passionate side and allow yourself this journey because this journey is going to help you forward. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. I acknowledge I've got a lot of overlapping cards. However, what further information does the spread hold for you? The cards that you can see and those feelings that you have as I've been doing this spread and how I've been doing this reading. This is a group reading, so if you're looking for something a little bit more specific or personal, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online introductory and interactive classes through Zoom over the next couple of months. The next class is on November 11th, where I'll be running my Introduction to Angels and Archangels class. Then on December 9th, I'll be running my Introductions to Connecting, which is a channelings class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I've put a link below to my classes page and go there directly and check it out. I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you kind of were able to see what's going to happen over the next 12 months. Now this, like I have said, this is a map. This is not concrete as we have free will and free choice. At any given time, we can come off this path and we can create a new one. And that's why I don't feel that we do enough mapping. Um, don't be surprised if you see something similar in January and then you can reflect back to the two readings and you can see how things have changed a bit. I'm going to continue to create fun and dynamic videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As you can see here, you really never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss something. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Sagittarius friends.